In this step, I'm gonna show you one of the most rarest trick. It used so little that literally you cannot see it all the time. It's crushing enemies, infantries, if come and attack your MCV. What are you gonna do is unpack your MCV, hit Alt on your keyboard, and crush this unit by left click on your mouse on it, and your MCV gonna crush it. This trick is very useful with less infantries. I mean, one, two, three GIs, maximum four to five inhalers, maximum six conscript, maximum. Try always to use this trick with less infantries as possible. Why this trick? You're never gonna see it in pro games. Why? Because the problem with this trick, there is so many risk by using this trick. Because the most optimal way that a lot of pro players, what they gonna do, for example, if any attack, it's come onto your NCV, what they gonna do, they gonna build defenses and they gonna kill this infantry. Or what they gonna do, they gonna unpack their MCV and they gonna take it away, far away from the action. Or sometimes what's happening is the other player, if he is a pro, for example, if his unit is grouped up together, what are he gonna do after the MCV unpacked and you try to crush it, he we're gonna use X on keyboard. So it takes a long time to crush each one of these infantry. So that's why I don't recommend this trick as often. I recommend it to use it only one time with one player, only one time after you play for so many games just to use it one time and suddenly because the risks are so high by using this trick and it, it can interrupt your building order because if you want to build something, defenses or whatever, it can interrupt it. That is another reason. So a lot of people they say, how do we use this trick? Remember always keep these rules in mind. There shouldn't be any tanks, any units can block the MCV near to the MCV because it can block your MCV from deploying and it's gonna be a whole different scenario. I show this trick in one of my videos, I'm gonna link it above because sometimes the infantry gonna block your MCV from deploying and if tanks or drone near to your MCV, you're gonna get inside it and you're gonna lose your MCV. This is a huge waste. So that's why I always recommend you, all the action should be far away from your MCV. And this trick is only be used like a second attack. Like for example, like the first attack and the second attack, this is like a second attack, you're gonna attack your MCV. So you can use this trick. So always I recommend use this trick with cautious. But believe me, sometimes it can save you money from not building any defenses and you're gonna crush these annoying infantry and you can deploy your MCV. Or sometimes with dogs, it, because dogs sometimes can block the MCV or block certain factory from deploying, you can unpack your MCV, crush it and deploy it again so you can build normally. In this trick I'm gonna show you how can you save your allies and your Soviet miner from drone attack. It's most common with allies minor, but with Soviet minor, it's only used in slight differences. So the first thing I'm gonna show you, how can you save your allies minor? If the drone get inside your allies minor, you can return it back to the oil refinery and your miner gonna be saved. This is the first and easiest trick, but the problem is sometimes the drone get inside your miner or another miner. For Soviet, if you are Soviet miner, a drone get inside it, the only way if you want to save it is by repair it. That is the only way because it cannot disappear. So for the next things I'm going to say for every situation, it not belong to Soviet miner because the only option if you don't have repair is by killing your Soviet miner by defenses, tanks or infantries. But with allies miner, you can do some weird tricks. The first thing with defenses, so what are you gonna do? If there's a drone get inside your miner, what are you gonna do? Get Make it really close to your defenses and make your defense hit your miner slightly and then return it back to the old refinery. The drone is gonna be disappeared. This is an amazing trick. Or what some players they do, they make the miner get really close to the defense but they never let the defense hit the miner. And what they're gonna do? They return it back to the old refinery. Simple and easy. The drone is gonna be there and the defense is gonna hit it. The same thing with tanks. Tanks you're gonna do exactly the same thing with defenses, but be cautious with tanks because tank can damage the miner much more. So you're gonna be careful if you have a lot of tanks they want to attack your miner, it's gonna destroy it easily. And the next one is using infantry exactly the same way. So this is the most OP trick if you wanna apply it. But remember, 
you need to practice this trick a lot of the time because the problem there is a glitch in allies minor if a drone get inside your allies minor and you shoot it by your tank or any other units you try to shoot it to kill the drone inside your minor if you return it back immediately the drone is gonna disappear but here's the catch if you shoot on the minor and then stop wait for a while and then return it back to the oil refinery the drone gonna stay alive no matter how much you're gonna shoot on this miner the drone gonna stay alive this is a glitch so you must practice a lot to avoid this glitch you must practice a lot so we're not gonna happen to you believe me it's happened for me so many times so i highly highly recommend be careful and practice a lot and this trick is not only used for our miners it can use for a whole different situation especially with tanks in case if there is a drone get inside your tanks you can kill by this way so now i put some links in the description so if you want to support your boy hit the links in the description and support your boy and this trick i can assure you one of the most rarest trick that a lot of people they don't know about it it is about building the factory when your enemy tried to attack that single factory to accommodate the time that you lost to build the same factory what i mean by that is for example you see now i have two war factories i have mcv barracks power etc if the enemy tried to attack the war factory directly i have another war factory so he will not gonna hinder my building order so what a lot of players they do they try to attack a specific factory especially at the beginning of the game they can attack like for example the power or they try to attack the battle lab to not let you build super weapons so a lot of players they're gonna attack these factories to slow you down so to accommodate this type of attacking what are you gonna do you try to build exactly the same factory that he is trying to attack so when he attack this specific factory and at the same time you try to repair it or sell it i mean the factory he attacks so as you can see it escape half the time it necessary to build that factory this is very useful tricks in some cases where is the enemy just try to attack one factory then they leave just to sneak one factory on you like for example tanya ifv or seal ifv elite ifv attack bunch of rocketeers attack bunch of tanks attacks plane attacks sea chopper attacks yuri disc attacks your clone attacks even all these particular cases where the enemy only attack with single factory then he leave this trick is very very useful against these type of attacks so that is why i highly highly recommend this trick because believe me at these difficult cases it can really really not delay you as much